Welcome back to the farm. Um, today we were doing we are doing some maintenance work on the farm. So as you guys, as I already told you in some of my earlier videos, this place gets a lot of rainfall. So when we lay when we were laying down these lines for the areca nuts and the fruit trees, so we had to make sure that we also dug trenches so that when it rains the the whole place is not waterlogged because when it rains this place does get a lot of rainfall and so when we were laying the lines down we dug these trenches so before we before i could get the trenches done i made sure that i put the pipelines so that we knew where exactly we need to 
place the the plans and also where we needed to put the trenches so it so happened that when we were digging one of the trenches we broke one of the pipelines so today um, um, I was getting that done I was so a very simple procedure just cut the pipe where we broke it right just maybe for maybe like one feet and um, and we made sure that we put glue on both the sides and put the same size of pipe and we fixed the broken area. Right? Uh, one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing this, make sure that you're not just digging, you're not just fitting the pipe in that particular area. When you have to do that, you have to dig maybe three feet on either sides and lift the pipe up a little bit so that the pipe, you know, when you're, so when you're fitting it, it becomes easy for you to do it. Because otherwise, if you don't do that, then uh, the pipe is not going to sit properly and um, you're not going to kind of get the results that you're hoping. All I have to do now is fill, the, fill it back with mud, but I'm going to leave it uh, open for a few days and, all, and try the, the pipe. I'm going to run the motor and see if there is any leaks before I cover it up so that if there is a leak, then I can fix it rather than just filling it up and then having a leak and then the pressure is going to fail in the pipes and that's not going to be good. So I'm going to leave it open like this for now and um, uh, maybe by 4 or 5 in the evening I will run the, the motor and give the plants a good watering. As you can see uh, we did the the maintenance work for the plants, we dug up the, the soil near the root area uh, so that now when you water the plant, the, that water is going to sink and the plant is going to have a lot of water and we are almost approaching the, the summer months now, <coughs> November, December. We haven't received rain in the last two, three weeks. <coughs> it's almost like post monsoon now and by Jan, Feb it's going to be really hot here and it's time that I started watering the plants so so that is why I got the pipe fixed now I'll have to start watering it so I was thinking that I will not use the sprinklers this time for watering the plant now because this, as you can see there's a lot of grass so if I use the sprinklers the water is going to also fall on the grass and the grass is also going to grow so instead of doing that what I'll do is I'll use one of the points and just use a hose and water the water only the arecanuts and the fruit trees. I'm gonna just water it near the near the plant so that only that plant will get the water and the, the water does not and the grass does not get the water. You know, and I think by using the sprinklers, I'll be wasting a lot of water unnecessarily. So I will not use the sprinklers. And also the best time to water the plant is towards the evening. That is after maybe four or five o'clock because that is when the the winds die down but if i was if i'm using the hose then i don't really need to bother about the the wind that you know the wind being there but if i was using the sprinklers then yeah i would also need to take that into consideration because after 4 or 5 is when the winds die down and only then if i plant if i you know use the sprinklers will the water fall everywhere evenly because otherwise then if there is wind then the wind is going to carry the the water towards one side whatever direction the wind is flowing and some of the uh, some areas will not receive the will not get the water so so that's the thing so that is what is happening on the farm so in the coming months i have i'm planning to also do something more here so stay tuned and watch the video uh, i'll go get the pipes and maybe towards the evening uh, i'll water the plants and I think that will be done for this. Um, I think that is what I have to do now, right? Alright guys, thank you. Thank you for watching the videos. I see that a lot of you guys watching the videos are not subscribing. So if you are not subscribed, I request you to please subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends and family if you like the kind of content that I make, right? So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Mm. Mm.
ಆಯ್ತು ಸಿಗ್ತೀವಿ